Mission Green Earth by Jared Krywicki. This is a nonfiction book with the essential question, how can people reduce pollution and conserve resources? Presented in three chapters. Let's begin. Chapter one, Earth as our home. Have you ever wondered what Earth looks like from space? Astronauts say it looks like a beautiful jewel. We must take care of this valuable treasure. Our planet is full of materials human beings use, such as water, oil, and soil. These are called natural resources. All living things need water to survive. People use oil to power cars and heat homes. Soil lets us grow food. Earth is big, so some of our natural resources will not last forever. A green world. In this book, you will read about thinking green. This means finding a better way to treat our environment. The goal of Thinking Green is to make our world last for a long time. We must take steps to reduce pollution and save our natural resources. Thinking Green can help keep our planet beautiful, clean, and healthy. Is Earth getting hotter? Earth is getting warmer. It is one degree warmer than it was 100 years ago. This rise in temperature is called global warming. Scientific research shows that people are partly to blame. Scientists think it will keep getting warmer unless we change our ways. The fossil fuel habit. Coal, oil, and natural gas are fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources. Once they are used up, they cannot be replaced. Though Earth has a limited supply of fossil fuels, oil and coal supply more than half of the energy we use. Fossil fuels form when plants and animals decay underground for millions of years. Their energy comes from the remains of ancient, once living things. We burn fossil fuels to get energy. Burning releases gases into the air. One of these gases is carbon dioxide. Sometimes carbon dioxide traps too much heat from the sun on Earth. Using fossil fuels causes air pollution. This is a serious problem in many cities. The land clearing habit. Plants take carbon dioxide from the air and use it to grow. In turn, plants give off oxygen. People and animals need oxygen to breathe. However, people also clear land for roads and buildings. This reduces the number of trees and plants, leaving more carbon dioxide in the air. Clearing forests contributes to global warming. Chapter 2. Green Energy The most valuable source of Earth's energy is the sun. Energy from the sun is solar energy. Solar energy is a renewable resource, which means it does not get used up. When we use renewable energy, we use fewer fossil fuels. This helps fight global warming and reduces pollution. The sun provides us with an unlimited supply of energy. Raw energy. Some of the sun's energy bounces back into space. Some of it heats the air, land, and sea. Plants use and store solar energy. People and animals get some of that energy when they eat plants. Using sun power. We know how to use energy from the sun to generate electricity. Solar power plants use special mirrors to collect sunlight. The mirrors direct sunlight to water. The sun's heat warms the water, which makes steam. A power plant uses this steam to spin turbines, which are like giant fans. When they spin, they make electricity. Wind power. People have used the wind for thousands of years. More than a thousand years ago, people made the first windmills. Their energy was used to grind corn and get water out of the ground. Today, we use windmills to make electricity. Today's windmills are called wind turbines. When they spin, a rod turns inside the turbine, producing electricity. Wind creates a lot of energy. There are wind farms all over the world. They give us almost 5% of our energy needs. Water power. Moving water is a renewable energy source. About one-fifth of the world's electricity comes from water. Large dams produce most of this water power. Water flows through the base of the dam and moves through turbines. It spins the turbines, making electricity. Water power is renewable. However, dams can cause flooding, which harms plants and animals. Energy from inside the earth. Energy that uses the heat from inside the earth, its interior, is geothermal energy. This clean energy causes little pollution and is usually renewable. Most of Earth's 
heat energy is located far underground. In some places, it is closer to the surface. Volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers are examples. Geothermal energy makes steam. The steam turns the blades of turbines, making electricity. This is a picture of a dam. Flowing water spins the turbines. And this is a picture of a geothermal plant using uh, the heat from inside the earth to make steam. Energy from living things. Biofuel is any living matter that can be used as fuel. It is renewable and most of it is made from plants. Wood is a biofuel. It produces heat energy when it is burned. Animal waste is another source of biofuel. Manure produces a gas called methane when it is burned. We can use biofuel instead of fossil fuel, but it is not always the best choice. Trees used to make biofuel take a long time to grow back. Cutting down trees harms ecosystems. Burning wood also pollutes the air. Although biofuels are much cleaner than fossil fuels, they still give off carbon dioxide. This fuel plant produces ethanol fuel from corn grown in the fields. Sugarcane is also used to make ethanol. Chapter 3. Saving Water and Food From space, Earth is a swirl of blues and greens. It seems as if Earth has plenty of water and food. Yet even water and food are in danger in some parts of the world. Four times as many people live on Earth today as 100 years ago. That means we need much more water and food. Some parts of Africa and Asia are running out of fresh water. These places have a lot of people. People use the water so quickly that supplies cannot be renewed as fast as needed. How can we solve water and food problems? We must use and grow these resources in ways that do not harm the environment. Saving our water. How can we save water? Since pollution can make water unusable, controlling pollution will help. Technology can also help. There are special ways to farm that use less water, such as drip irrigation. Dry cracked earth is the result of a drought. Drip irrigation waters soil from a pipe right next to it, the crops. It is one way to save our water supply. Saving our food. Some farming methods are good for the soil. Farmers can plant different kinds of crops on one farm. Later they plant new crops in a different part of the farm. Organic farming is another method. Most farming uses chemicals to help plants grow and get rid of pests. These chemicals harm the environment. Organic farmers do not use chemicals. Fish can be raised in farms too. Fish farms help prevent overfishing. It is up to us to protect the oceans by thinking green. That's a picture of a saltwater salmon pen. Our most important resource. There's one resource more important than all others. Life. Thinking green does not just keep our planet beautiful. It makes life on earth better for all living things.